Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover one of the math uh, from this book, Mathematics, Shingley's Mathematics, Book 3, 6th edition. And uh, uh, this is a bearing uh, problem. Uh, exercise 11E, question number 6. Okay. Uh, this is very interesting question because uh, it has a lot of confusion uh, among the students. Uh, a lot of students ask for this question, so um, I'm going to uh, make this video on that. PQR are three points on level ground, one level ground, horizontal ground, given that the bearing of R from P is 135 degree. Uh, two of the angles are given. Angle PQR is 55 degree and angle PRQ is 48 degree. Calculate the bearing of this, this, this. All right, let, let, let's do the first one, okay? Let's see what he's saying. Now, first one, what I'm gonna do, uh, 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 if you remember my last video, I said from whatever letter comes from, just circle that out or or box it out. So I'm gonna box this one out from P. So I'm gonna make this intersecting point P. Okay, and this side is gonna be north. And it says that bearing of R from P is 135 degrees. So if, we, if I'm counting from, measuring from north, uh, if it comes this side, is each side, and it's 90 degree, then if we go more, this is 90 and this is 180, 135 should be somewhere in between. So I'm gonna put somewhere over here my point R. According to the question, this is 135 degree. And then it says that PQR is 55 degree. Now I'm not sure uh, where it's gonna be. It can be here, it can be here, it can be here or it can be over here, okay? So first I'll try on this side of PR. Let's put this one um, Q, okay? So if I join that, according to the question, PQR is 55 degree and PRQ is 48 degree, okay? Now calculate the bearing of P from R, P from R. So now from is over here, P from R. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna from R on R, I'm gonna draw a plus sign and this is the north from R and this is the north from P, okay? So I'm looking at this angle over here. See that from north, if I measure or calculate, it goes all the way 90 degree, 180 degree, 300, uh, 270 degree, then somewhere over here on this line is P. Now, this is, I already know, this is 180 degree. All I need is this one. If you look closely, this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. You probably remember from the last video. So this is gonna be 135 degree. So A, the bearing of the bearing of P from R equal to 180 plus 135, that should give you 315 degree. Okay, so that's the first one. Q from R, okay, so Q from R. This is also easy. Okay, I'm gonna just write down the bearing the bearing of Q from R. That equals to, see, uh, if you go from north from R all the way over here, that's P. If you go a little bit more, I'm gonna go a little bit more up to here, that's my Q. So whatever angle I have over here, that was 315, just add 48 with that. So 315 plus 48, that's supposed to be giving you, uh, that's uh, 363 degree. Okay, now I made a mistake by drawing the diagram. See that this line is this side of north, so it has to be less than 360 degree. When your calculation shows that, don't get panic. All you need to do, just redraw that. It's gonna be somewhere over here. R is gonna be this side, 
Okay, so that's P, that's R, and that's your Q. And over here, that's your 363 degree. You go all the way from here to here, 360 degree. But what we need to do, we need to get the bearing from north. So 360 degree, one revolution, then it goes over three more degree. So you can, you can simply subtract it 360 degree from here. So three degree. So the required bearing, the required bearing would be, you remember that three main digits. So zero, zero, three degree. That's the final answer for that one. Okay. All right. We are coming next to P from R. The bearing, the bearing of P from, oh, sorry, Q, not R, P from Q. So P from Q. Now, what again, from Q, so I'm going to draw a plus sign on Q. That's north of Q. Now we are looking at this angle over here. Okay. Um, we already know that this one is uh, 55 degree. If you remember, angle PQR, PQ, PQR, this is 55 degree. That's pretty good. We know this one is 180 degree. All I need is this angle. See that this, if I, if I know this angle, this actually completes the whole journey from north of Q. See, I'm gonna go all the way counter, yeah, no, clockwise direction. And when I come over here, I can see P. So P from Q. So this blue line, blue arrow, that whole angle I need. I know this one, 180 degree. I know this one, 55 degree. All I need is this one. Now, if you remember over here, okay, we got this particular angle is three degree. Okay, that three degree. So this bearing would be 180 plus this three plus 55. So it should be giving me 180 plus three plus 55. That's gonna be 238 degree, okay? So this is one of the option. Now, remember this is, this is just the angle. These two are angles, not bearing. This one was the bearing. So this position of R from P is true. We, we are not gonna change that one, okay? Problem is with this Q. Q may be over here or may be over here. So I have another options to cover, okay? Now let, let, let's draw that one, okay? Let's draw this one and see how it happens. Again, I'm gonna draw this from P, so that uh, diagram over here, north. And this one is R, remains same, that's R. Okay, and over here, this is 135. Now, since this is the angle, instead of putting Q over here, I'm gonna be putting, putting Q on this side of line segment PR. So somewhere I'm gonna put over here, Q, I may put over here, and then probably uh, we're gonna have the same problem over here. It's not a problem, just if you, if you keep an eye open, you'll find it out that your calculation gonna give you the right answer, okay? So this is 135 and angle PQR, that's angle PQR, PQR is 55 degree, and angle PRQ, PRQ is 48 degree. Now, let's go for the first question. It says P from R. This is not gonna change. P from R, the bearing of, the bearing of P from R. Okay, so it's the same thing, but let me do that once again, really quick. That's north of R. So we need this particular angle to get uh, bearing of P. So this is 180 and this is 135, as I mentioned before. So 180 plus 135, that's gonna give me 315 degree. Okay, so that's that. Now question number two, it says Q from R, Q from R. So where is Q? This and from this R. Okay. Now I have a problem over here. All I need, um, let me have another color so probably it can be seen better this way. 
I need this. Okay, this is not very visualized. Okay, let's use purple. So I need this angle over here, purple one. Okay, the bearing of Q from R. So from R, this purple one go all the way clockwise and somewhere in this line I have Q. Now, I know this one 180 and well, if I come over here up to this particular point, it's 270. All I need this angle, but there is no way I can find out this one straightforward, okay? But I can do one thing. I know this whole thing from R to P, that's 315. So all the way from here to here is 350, uh, 15. If I subtract 48, see, again, I'm gonna go from here to all the way this place, and I know this one 315. Then if I come back to this place, so subtract 48, I'm gonna get the bearing of Q from R. I hope you understand that. So that's gonna be 315 minus 48, and it's supposed to give, give me 315 minus 48, that's actually 267 degree. Okay, I hope you can see that. I cannot find out uh, this angle right way. So I have to go all the way from here to here because this is known. I have just find it out in the previous math. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm, I'm subtracting this 48. Okay, then it's gonna give me the bearing of Q from R. Okay, next one is three. P from R, P from Q, P from Q. <clears throat> So P from Q. Now this is kind of, uh, again, I have to draw this plus sign on Q because it says from Q, okay? Whenever it says from, just box it out. It's gonna be easier, okay? Now I need P from Q, P from Q. So this angle I need. Now I can see these two are parallel. If I can find this angle, then this angle is this angle same. So this angle is actually the bearing of P from Q. How can I find this one? There is one way I can do is, uh, is uh, just calculating this particular angle. Okay, let this one be theta. And this one I'm looking at, this is alpha, and I call this one alpha as well because they are alternate interior angles. Okay, now this theta equals to, this theta equals to, um, this is PQR is a, triangle and sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. I hope you know that. So theta would be 180 minus sum of these two. So 180 minus 55 plus 48. That's going to give me 180 minus, then I can put bracket 55 plus 48. It should give me 77 degree. So this whole thing is 77 degree. Okay. Now I know that this is 135 and this is once uh, this is 77 I just find it out 135 77 okay so this is gonna give me the whole thing then this alpha is gonna be the whole thing minus this 180 degree can you see that this alpha angle alpha would be whole this that means 135 135 is 135 is uh, up to here this is 135, okay? And then 77 is up to here. So 135 plus 77, okay? And then if I subtract this 180, I'm gonna get alpha, 180. So let's see what that comes. 135 plus 77 minus 180, I got 32 degree. And this 32 degree is this alpha, this angle. And this is the bearing of P from Q. So again, three, main digit so this is going to be zero three two degree that's our answer for bearing of p from q okay if you don't uh, understand this please see the um, video or, uh, once again if you still have some question uh, leave in the comment box and i'll get back to you okay next video i'll show you another problem of the same book and probably that's going to help you understand bearing better take care bye